Welp, as far as long as we're out here, my pole is uh, still holding the same status. I will perform another check uh, after going in. is over here. I will make a separate save here. There is just one problem with this guy, is that I already know <laughs> he's the bad guy. Hello. Of course you're a doctor. Um. I don't want to get close to him. And uh, now I left the rest to see my people behind me. <coughs> oh, it's a speech check, okay. Blarg. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Well, I guess oh I should have okay. Let's uh let's do this properly. Yeah, the lo loading screen messages were smart ass in here. I wonder if this was... If this was, uh, like... Contextual? Or just... I don't know. Mm, somebody had a... Hardness increasing... Yeah, okay, give it to her. I don't think it's enough to pull it off, but we can try. I'm not sure you're carrying right now. Oh, okay, you still have some, some to go. Yeah. You can't wear it, can you? Okay, and until we have reported in, we don't have any any points to commit. Okay, I will I will place different people at different distances. He have a clear shot. Okay, and you. Oh, you still have pills. 
take some pillows. Uh, actually, no. Give them to him. Okay, this is another point where fraps uh, went um <coughs> haywire a little bit. This seems to be uh, related to reloading the game while uh, while not cutting to recording. Anyway, I have sped up the uh, footage a little bit and uh, talking over it and splicing some uh, Wasteland 1 music in it because I don't want to scrap it all. Uh, we are poking around in the Axe Center. Also, I just uh, put together a conspiracy of conspiracies in my mind, like AG, as in AGROPROM. Anyway, uh, we're playing around, uh, breaking into closed uh, rooms, finding some supplies, uh, observing shit. I think we we found a uh, a safe and cracked it somewhere in the in the way, and we're uh, we're letting Doctor Lars rot there in the lobby. And uh, if I remember correctly, my exact words were, "You might die of old age if uh, uh, if I cure." I forgot how they <laughs> how it went. Uh, yeah. Anyway, because I I know what's the deal with him. Ah, oh, yeah. This is where we. I would try to break in. It failed at the first point, uh, at the first try, and uh, and the door became unusable. I don't know how you how you force a door so that it it comes unforceable further. But there you go. So this has to be one of the uh, scientist private quarters or something. Oh yeah, the safe. Let's get to cracking. I think it worked the first time. Yay! Also, I made a note of how fond I am of these uh, uh, skill use progress effects. Like the progress bar filling and, uh, and the... Um, little sound effect that goes with it. Also I realized that this footage is at normal speed, not sped up. I just cut some of the fighting parts out. But we're not there yet. Right now we're examining some laundry machines. And, and flickering lights and all that. Oh yeah, the other door was rigged to explode, now I remember. Everybody stay back, just in case. But I think this also worked the first time around. Yep. And basically, what the whole objective here is if it if it wasn't uh, if I didn't make it clear in the in the previous episodes is that we have come to a little detour of a detour uh, to gain experience and uh, and level up for the uh, for the high pool mm, wrecker fight which is still ahead of us. So that, that's why we're poking around with everything and, uh, and uh, interacting with, uh, with anything and doing a lot of heals and doing a lot of skill checks. But at the same time, uh, since I'm, I'm not actively doing this area yet, we're not uh, going all out to fight the local threats. I mean, we fight them if we have to, but, uh, but we're trying to sort of pick the easy fights at this point. Yep. 
up, explore everything. Quick save is always a good idea. Is this leading back there? Oh yeah, this is uh, this is where we reach the plant brain. Almost. Okay, and beyond that door lay more of those exploding pods and uh, and in the inner chamber there were uh, more fruit flies and uh, and the pod people I did try to fight them a little bit but, uh, but once again I realized that we are not exactly up to the task and, uh, and since uh, getting through them is not our current main objective I decided to leave that and instead make our way back to high pool which is about to happen right about now yes so we're back in the desert but i'm trying to uh, run into some easier encounters on the way also we should be receiving a radio message I think I had the idea to go to the citadel and uh, and uh, gear up better, but when we got close to the citadel, uh, we got the new distress, distress call or new new message from High Pool, uh, basically scolding us and uh, or scorning us for being lazy bums and not helping them and whatnot. And the same message kicked in now that we were just sort of moseying about the desert so I'm guessing there is some sort of time limit to it after all like there was definitely the location thing the moment we got uh, into range with Citadel radio we got the high pull message but now that we're poking about in the desert that same message kicked in after a while are we there yet? Always is for the win. Ah, okay, I think the uh, secondary high pool message doesn't kick in yet. Like we we got to go to the high pool and leave it once more, and and then it happened. Ah, that's the message. Okay. So it did kick in. I can't remember, did I reload after this or did I did I just keep on going? Okay, I reloaded I think. Or not? Oh yeah, reload it was. So basically I'm just making my way towards high pool as I did before, trying to sort of avoid that message being happening. And instead we have ourselves a little nice encounter. That's what we came out here for, actually. A little suspense. 
This is the murderous raider. Is it green monster man? Is it aliens? Oh yeah, we're getting more tactical and shit. And uh, this time the footage has been sped up a little bit. I think I sped it up uh, double, I think. But yeah, there's our foe. Fruit flies and bunnies. Just what we need. Also, uh, according to the loading screen messages, or the hints, uh, the outdoorsman skill helps to put you into a better, po better position uh, if, you, if you enter an encounter. So that's good to know. But yeah, at first I'm just trying to get everybody in position and then uh, make it so that we start the encounter. during encounters. Okay. So the control when it starts part was a success. Bunny? The bunny's attack animation is as if they were humping your leg. That's a bit disturbing. I can't remember if we uh, whistled these flies away or if we killed them at this point. I think we just fought everything. Another thing is that we're kind of I'm trying to have these encounters so that my buggers wouldn't take too much damage because uh, our medical supplies are limited. And the high pool trader doesn't have too, too many anymore either because we have bought them all and even so we don't have that much to do that that we can trade in. So yeah. Hold on to your health as much as we can. This means that the uh, crates and, uh, and fences and all that's super handy because I think it uh, it affects how accurate the flies are with their spitting. And the ones here definitely weren't as accurate as the ones in Ag Center. Okay, a little bit of emergency medicine still. Let me increase the screen, I can't see what they're doing. Are they like punching or, or shooting? It is uh, with the mutants. Oh no, with the mutants at some point. Uh, I had them, oh yeah, I had them uh, save the bullets and just punch their way. And the 
second bunny is down. Oh, I know this uh, a little continuity, animation continuity from uh, Fallout 1 is that when a foe is killed then all the blood comes out. Like Okay, I will bring everybody away from there and uh, into the cover. And since uh, walking two still has a few rounds left, ah, oh, she's being worked on with the trauma kit. But yeah, in a few times I also did the thing that when somebody was bleeding out, but they still had like uh, several rounds to go. <laughs> then uh, then I would just uh, leave them be for uh, for those few turns. I mean, if we needed to take uh, take cover from flies and all that. So yeah, it looks like this particular encounter didn't work out that well in regard of keeping our health. Because we have already revived people twice and, and everybody's health points are, are quite low. Fortunately the flies keep missing. Yep, get behind that crate, get down. I think crouching also makes you a smaller target, so the uh, enemies, at least those with ranged attacks, have, uh, have lesser chance to hit you. I have to check if that's true. I think uh, I'm about to send her to do the whistle. Or maybe not. I don't know. Oh, one down again. I think the master plan, hi plan here was that if we didn't uh, survive this encounter, I would have reloaded. But looking at the video bits, I see no reload, so... Yep. Also, I, I don't know what, what the deal was with these flies. Like, uh, the whisper was supposed to be a success, but the fly wouldn't go away. And I think it was, uh, it became docile enough so that we could just sort of dog pile around it and, uh, and pound it down. Oh, there goes one. Yeah, I think that's the case. Like, it's, uh, it's still not, uh, like, non-hostile, but it's, oh, it's, it is attacking us. I, I don't know what the deal was then. Shotguns speak louder than whistles. And when in doubt, punch at stuff. Oh, sweet, sweet experience. Yay! I think uh, once we have done uh, collecting a loot, loot, then I'm having everybody to sit around a little bit and uh, and uh, wait until all the uh, damage effects have been passed, or some of them. Also, I checked the timer uh, on that port infection because 
I suspect that uh, that particular timer doesn't show uh, see the green uh, uh, green icon about walking to uh, she she got infected by the port people during the fight and I think that's the one uh, status that you have to remove with the uh, serum and if you don't remove it in time then you incubate and, uh, and bad shit happens I suspect that's what's what's happening here especially because that timer uh, is is uh, like 12,000 seconds like the uh, after effects from a concussion and uh, and revival are usually like uh, a few hundred seconds what this one's like mm. 11 megaseconds so yeah I think we need to find her the serum soonish uh, checking the area for hidden doodads although I suspect that these uh, random encounter maps don't have hidden treasures or like buried thingies Oh yeah, checking up on the port infection there. And the other effects. So yeah, all the effects are counting down, but some are counting down within a small time frame. But the port infection effect is like, yep, it's coming. Okay, we're gathering around. And I think we're about to exit to the desert. Oh no, yeah, this is where I wait until the effects uh, wear off. Just in case. And I think I'm making also the uh, bold decision to hold on uh, to not uh, use up any more health items, which we might not even have in the first place. I think that's the case. We, do, we just don't have any med packs anymore. to high pool. Strategic manual save first. Because I don't want to lose the uh, experience that we got from that encounter. Okay, and now something weird pops up in radio. Uh, there was uh, almost like a number station thing. I think there were some recognizable words and then static and then sort of uh, alien noises. And this uh, most likely relates to the Yag Center uh, situation. Like the walking tomatoes are are uh, afflicting other areas now. Anyway, once we end the pool and try to talk to the trader, then uh, traps will crash for good. So next episode we'll have proper voicing again. Bye bye!